Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to Planet Zoo and our adventures here in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we are battling with our little beavers. Look at them, they're so cute. Oh my goodness. I love being able to watch them from below. This for some reason is one of my favorite ways to watch our little beavers go about because you can see their cute little tail and the back webbed feet. Like think about that. I, I mean, how many mammals do we really have that have webbed feet that are that? webbed and he's just so cute with those little teeth oh my gosh i cannot wait to spend more time with our beavers and i just cannot wait to be able to actually go ahead and have like a permanent supply of beavers in one of our franchise zoos so i'm very excited to work on that pretty soon but before we go ahead and we celebrate with all of the amazing north american animals in a franchise zoo that we can keep forever and ever and ever just like all of our other zoos we do need to go ahead and prove our stuff by finishing up these objectives. Oh, and we have an American bison expecting offspring. Yes! And so today, guys, since apparently our guests are actually becoming even less educated, I need to go ahead and have confidence that we'll be able to improve that over time. Maybe we'll even have to set up some little exhibit areas as education stations. We'll get there eventually. But uh, I figure we might as well go ahead and we should get in the last three animals we need into larger habitats so that that way we can have the guests like wandering around and then we're going to have to chase after them and like just run after them like, excuse me, excuse me, do you happen to know like beavers, they're mammals? They, they, they usually mate for life. Like, we're going to have to chase people around and just scream facts in their ears, which I have no problem with doing because I think that's awesome. Uh, but all right. So we left off with thinking about adding in our... Oh, no! Emma, no! Okay, Emma, you should have a vet coming to get you. Oh my gosh, that vet is running? Who are you? You deserve all of the credit, like all of the good things in the world. It's Lab Beaker Breaker Tyrax! Oh my gosh, and he's capable. I'll say he's capable. He's like at a literal dead run off to go take care of Emma, our sick beaver. I approve of that kind of gumption. Excellent. We'll go ahead, we'll give him a little promotion. That'll, that'll give him uh, more education and higher pay. And meanwhile, for us, we're actually going to work on adding in... Dun dun dun! Let's go ahead and refresh the list. There we go. We're going to work on adding in some new animals. We already have the American alligator, the American bison, and the Arctic fox. And keep in mind, guys, because this is a challenge mode that we're trying to win right now, we do not have access to all of the now dozens and dozens of animals that can actually show up in Planet Zoo. We only have access to like a couple pages worth of animals, which is quite a pity. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of beavers available. Oh my goodness. <gasps> and the lemur! Oh, ooh, and timber wolves. Oh my gosh. We should put in timber wolves. Yes! People love wolves! All right. Well, I wanted to put in a bear. Like, I, I really could have sworn that bears were here. I mean, didn't... Oh, yeah. Look, there's the grizzly bear. Oh, oh. And he's actually a chocolate brown bear who was at a private zoo. And he, he doesn't have very long to live. Oh, but over here we have a, ooh, a lovely female. You know what? How much space do these guys need? And she's actually a rescued uh, pet. And I truly, to the depths of all sincerity in my heart, do not believe that a grizzly bear is ever supposed to be a pet. Like, holy moly, Chips and I were actually doing a lot of research about that when we were getting ready to go see the grizzly bears in Yellowstone. We did not see any grizzly bears, but we did see black bears. Gosh, I still need to edit that vlog. It's coming, friends, it's coming. Uh, but anyway, we they're huge. I don't think they should be pets. I want to rescue her so she doesn't have to be somebody's pet. And how much space would we need for two adults? About mm, like 9,000 square feet. They don't need water. Grade four climb proof fence. Oh good, and our American bison are having babies. Very cute, very cute indeed. So I think this space should be adequate and we can even give them a, a little bit of like water to be able to splash in. So that would be very nice. And it already has a bunch of bridges next to it. Uh, let's see, they need grade four resistance, which is not wooden logs. <laughs> uh, we could do thick glass. I feel like thick glass would be really nice. Usually, is the thick glass meant for uh, transparent, watertight? Okay, let's do the thick glass. And let's go ahead. I should probably make it a little bit taller, but that's okay. Oh, I can change the colors, like, immediately. 
Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I'm so changing these colors. All right, we're going to apply that. And then I'm going to make it look like... Ooh, that's so cool. Okay, I probably don't need to make it green. But you know what? We're going to make it green just for now. All right. Oh, there's so much trash over here. How dare. Ooh, and you know what? Let's actually make it so the bear might come over on, like, this island. Because I think that that would be kind of cool. If our bears decided they wanted to just, like, hang out on this side. And we're going to go ahead and... We'll let the bears and the grizzlies kind of, like, stare at each other if they want to. There we go. With some of that. Oops, 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 oops. There we are. And then we will resume. Let's see. All right. Then we will resume with the thick glass over here. There we go. Well, I guess we don't need thick glass over here. We could just do concrete. But come on. We're going to make it really nice for our bears. I am not one to shirk away from, like, expenses. If it means that our animals will have a much nicer home to be in. Here, we'll go ahead and maybe start climbing the cliff a little bit. And then, yeah, we'll climb this. We'll, we'll do this. Let's see. And now the cougars will be able to see them as well. I wonder if that would irritate the, each other. Or if, like, everybody would just be a little bit more enriched and fascinated with one another. I don't know. Like, I'm going to have to do research on how people decide what animals should be able to see each other in a zoo and which ones shouldn't. I know it, in uh, animal husbandry in zoos, it's become a thing to try to figure out, like, where to position your big cats so they can still kind of have the enrichment of smelling where the prey are without actually, like, being able to, you know, get into your your dica exhibit and just eat all your dicas. All right, let's add a glass habitat fence right here. And a little path. Why, hello. Yes. You need to, you need to, oh, did I put it in backwards? No. The fence is just being stubborn. All right. Back with you, back with you. All right, there's that. And then people can come to see the cougars over here if they want. That might be a long shot, though. Just saying. And we'll do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. All right, is this big enough for bass? Let's see. It's huge! It's ginormous! It is very much big enough for bears, which makes me happy. All right, and let's raise the fence while we're at it. All right, come here, fence. Barrier. And how tall did it say this should probably be? I can't quite recall. I'll go with something that seems fairly bear-proof. I mean, can grizzlies climb trees? I don't think they climb trees as well as some other species can. Like, the black bear just will shimmy up a tree in a jiffy. That's kind of where you can, like, find them, is up in trees. But I don't know if they can just do a cougar sort of deal and climb up to a tree and nearly escape. Oh, look, these people are already curious. Oh, here, we're, we're actually going to name this. Oh, after you guys. So hang on. I'm sure one of you has definitely contributed enough to helping us take care of our wonderful Blue Ridge Mountain Zoo to go ahead and have a habitat named after you. So let me pull up the random comments generator and... Little Fluffy Bean? <gasps> That's such a cute name! Alright, this is Little Fluffy Beans. Uh, bean Bear Forest. There we go. Oh my gosh, Little Fluffy Bean. What an adorable name you have. And I'll go get the next comment ready in just a moment for naming our bears. Alright. And then, speaking of our bears, we should go ahead and rescue them. So, let's see... Grizzly bears. See, the population's changed quite a bit. Ooh, a gold quality rescue grizzly bear. Oh, let's grab her. Wow, she seems like she'd be... Oh, and there's a Himalayan brown bear. You can have more than two types of bears. Oh my gosh, we should get another bear. That would be really cool. Uh, private zoo, private zoo. We'll go ahead and uh, adopt Wyatt, because Wyatt sounds like a really cool bear name. Even though we'll probably rename him. All right, so we'll get that in here. Whoops, my barrier is looking. Ha, <laughs> my barrier. Do you guys get it? Because it bears. It looks a little funky dunky, but... Ah. I mean, you can... Whoa, no, 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 no. 
You can only do what you can do, friends, and sometimes that means making, like, exceptional chaos. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness. Out of your projects. All right, that's a little bit better. Oh, we need to get this water clean. If I was going to give them this water, it needs to be clean water. All right, let's get on this. Things are going to happen. Zip, zip. All right, let's see. Should be a good spot. Isn't there like a water purifier right here? No? Well, guess what? We're going to put one right on in. I don't know if we need the workshop here anymore. Hello? Oh, wait, never mind. I'm sorry. It's occupied. Jeez, I was just about to like eat that workshop into space. That would have been very upsetting for some of our, our um, some of our employees. Electricity and hydro pumping station. Hmm. That's actually a really nice station. Wow. I like it a lot. Can we reach the water? Oh, actually, no. Oh, oh. hang on here. Okay, so the water should be cleaned, actually. I think it's just the color of the river. Uh, let me check cleanliness, cleanliness, right here. Yeah, never mind! The little Bear Creek. Well, we're gonna name this Bear Creek, I guess. It also has alligators. Sorry, alligators. Um, oh, and Wyatt's here in the zoo! Alright! Wyatt, welcome! Here we go! So, he is really beautiful! Oh my gosh! So, let's see if we can get him a little bit of a better habitat and a little bit more uh, enrichment. And now we have a grizzly bear. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, he wants more short grass, less long grass. I'm on it, Wyatt. Okay, I think we're gonna keep his name Wyatt because I, I sort of love that. I don't know why. Oh, look, he's gonna go swimming. I hope he's not gonna immediately figure out a way to escape. We'll work on that. All right, there's a lot of long grass. Yeah, long grass everywhere. Sorry about that, Wyatt. It's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. We've got some people starting to hang out. Look at the grizzly bear. I mean, look at how cool it is. You can just watch our grizzly bear swim. Very fun. And we'll try to clean up our lake a little bit so that maybe, um, let's see, let's add some more, ooh, some nice rocks up here. They're both swimming. Let's just really cross our fingers and hope that doesn't bode that they're just gonna like immediately figure out a way to get themselves out of here. All right, we can definitely touch up the cliff sides a little. Oh, that looks so good. I really wish I could find, I wish like you could select the terrain in question to figure out like where is the long grass um, so you could like hunt it down. <laughs> hunt it down and rip it up or like stick a security goat on it. Like come eat all of that. The bears don't like it. Wow, they are really having a great time swimming in the deeper water. I wonder if some of their enrichment items uh, have anything to do with water, because we can toss that in. And now that I know we can have a Himalaya brown bear, I kind of want to get a little brown bear in and a timber wolf. And then that would round off all of the different animals that we need. My good word, we're just going to have to like, oh, our prairie dogs are dying of old age again. Oh, that's so sad. But we're just going to have to work on the terrain over time, because that's going to take me a hot minute. Um, let's actually go ahead and get our grizzly bear like a nice cave if I can. Oh, and the keepers can't reach here to feed them. Red alert, red alert. We gotta feed these guys. All right, so they're actually part of what used to be Cougar Corridor, um, I believe. And Cougar Corridor doesn't really have anything in it anymore in this work zone. Yeah, so we're gonna include all of these. I should probably move a keeper hut much closer, but for now, that's gonna have to do. And do we have any staff assigned to Cougar Corridor? We do not. So now we absolutely need to go ahead and get another keeper. So we're gonna be adding in, dun, 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 keeper, Chris. And so this is going to be Grizzly Bear Researcher Chris. There we go. And Chris, thank you so much for being one of our fantastic patrons, making all of these adventures possible. Where did your name go? There it is. There we go. Two S's. I knew. There we are. 
Yeah, but thank you so much for being one of our wonderful patrons, Chris. It really helps to have our patrons because they help to keep our adventures going instead of me having to like constantly just focus on like the what would be the most popular series. Uh, or else I would have played a lot of Among Us, I suppose, but I'm not very good at it. And instead, like, work on things that really fulfill our heart and make us super happy to be part of of the world that we share together and to learn more about the animals and also it helps me to not panic all the time so chris thank you very much i hope you are going to be quite happy to now be one of our new employees i think that you're off to go get some food for the bears which is quite fun uh and i think i'm actually going to change the color of the water just a little bit yee, yee, yee. i want it to be a little bit more transparent so people know the bears are going to be happy all right, so now we have the grizzly bears added in and we have got a little bit of their terrain settled. People seem really happy. The bears seem very happy, thankfully, to come and swim all the time. So let's see if we can actually get some enrichment for our bears. And then since we need to educate people about them, we might also snag ourselves another researcher and put a little re- Oh, we could make a little research hut. Oh my gosh, and we could put education huts around it. Oh, I am so excited now. This is gonna be awesome. All right, where, where is our grizzly bear? Here we go. And then what could we put down for our grizzly bears? Let's see. Aquatic jetties. That's something, an animal crossing. Ooh, ah, we don't need an Animal Crossing, as cool as that looks. Uh, let's see, there, oh, there's just a nice plain cave. Let's see, oh dear, and our prairie dogs are interbreeding. Don't worry, we'll fix that eventually. Uh, basic information shop. What does that have to do with grizzly bears, I wonder? <gasps> but why not? I was just saying people need to be more educated. So why not have like this cute little basic information shop? Can I like put it up here? Oh my goodness. On um, can I I want to put it on like some sort of of uh pillars and lift it up like everything else around here. That would be really cute. Oh, I'll have to work on that. Let's see. Cuz I mean that would actually be really cute. Oh wait, but this works too. People can walk down here and there's a little there's a little shop covered in bear berries. I love it. And this can be like a bear education station. And we're gonna have our staff member right over here. All right, this is actually going to be Rowan. So this is going to be Bear, um, let's see, Bear Berry Collector Rowan. And Rowan, again, thank you so much for being one of our amazing patrons to make all these adventures possible. You're already teaching everybody about the amazingness of bears. So this is going to be the Berry, uh, berry educational, let's see, berry educational cabin? Uh, yeah, we'll just tell a little berry educational cabin. I'll come up with a better name eventually. And audio guides, adoption packets, and umbrellas are actually sold here, which I think is really cute. Um, and then we're going to come back over, and we're also going to give a little bit of education over here to Rowan. And then let's add this into the work zone. And hopefully, I'm hoping when you sell those like uh, audio tours, it actually really helps out with being able to go ahead and educate your guests more. But we'll have to see. All right, and then Barry Educational Cabin. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have you be part of Cougar Corridor. Excellent. All right, so hopefully that'll work out well. And unfortunately, we have litter bugs! Litter bugs! Oh, I want to focus on giving the bears something, but we are going to have to take care of the litter bugs. So that will probably be next time's project. All right, what else can we give them in terms of, like, enrichment and toys? Oh, we could put a bunch of bird nests in here. That would be kind of fun. All right, frozen fruit and block of frozen fish. Here, we'll put a block of frozen fish over here. There we go. And hopefully we'll say the bears like caught the fish and they just come out to be able to eat them. And people can watch them eat those fish. Oh, they can have cardboard boxes too. That's kind of cute. A climbable Eiffel Tower. Wow, the things I have downloaded, friends. I have no idea like half the time what I'm actually gonna find in here. 
Uh, oh, a bunch of pheasants! <gasps> I I love these uh, amazing builds you can find on the workshops of mock like mocked up little birds that you can put in as like ambient decorations or statues that you could say people donated to your zoo. Uh, so we might add in some pheasants in a little bit, <gasps> or just like a little Halloween decor. Oh, how perfectly thematic would that be? There's also hay bales which we don't need right now. There's things for them to smell, the jetty bedding platform, jungle climbing. Very nice, but not quite what we're going for. Uh, there's like the ice queen snow layer. Gosh, I have really gotten a lot of interesting things. Here, we're gonna put um, right over here a couple like interesting smell spots. And I would really like to bury those under like some fall looking, like autumnal looking leaves. Like we just have a pile of uh, leaves that everybody, like our groundkeeper, are sweeping. What? All right. I was trying to duplicate that, but for some reason it didn't work. All right. Let's turn blueprints off. And then I want my big old trees. Well, it looks like a pile of leaves. Oh no, somebody died. Oh, I don't know who it was, but rest in peace, little animal. And then I wonder if I yank it all the way down. Hmm. And then maybe if I turn it over on its side. So let's try rotating it. Oh, and now let's try going up again. And then we're going to try turning it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. That's not going to quite have the effect I was going for. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Oh my good word, it's so messy over here. Eh, I mean, that actually turned out okay. Not 100% what I was trying to do, but okay. I was trying to make, I want like a big pile of just like leaves, but I guess hay would do that. So we could, but then you can't put the hay beds on top of the other enrichment. So we're back to square one. All right, let's turn blueprints off for just a second and look at everything else we could offer them. Oh, an underwater box feeder. <gasps> That's perfect to be able to say they caught their own fish. All right, we're going to toss that in. Is it significantly deep enough? Quantity. Feeder is ready. Yes. Okay, so we'll call the keeper over here to fill it up. He doesn't really have anything else to do at the moment. And then we have a scratching tree that the bears can use. All right, we'll put that like, ooh, we should probably put it over here to maybe attract more people to this side. All right, so let's go ahead and see if our bears are happy. They seem to be happy. They're pooping on the side of the river at least. Well, somebody's gonna have to clean that up. Yeah, look at how happy he is. Really, the only thing they're missing is a hard shelter and we'll find a bunch of cave, like a little rock cave for them to be in soon. All right, meanwhile, oh, our prairie dog died. What, and the vet hasn't come to take care of this prairie dog? We don't have vultures here. You really need to get on top of this. Ella was seven years, so I'm trying not to be too sad about that. And this block of frozen fish cannot be reached by keepers. Well, that's okay, as long as, like, the, the bears enjoy it. Oh, hey, and our vet research is going! Yes! More research on the Arctic foxes. And more researches, research on all of the other amazing themes we can use to hopefully make this place look really fantastic. Let's have Kayaker Zelda work on the the african theme for now you never know what might be useful but all right Phew. okay so there we go you guys oh look at the bears oh they are so happy to be swimming they're, they're definitely a little bit bigger than beavers we have traded bears for beavers oh my gosh that's so cool wow I love watching polar bears swim, but it never occurred to me that grizzlies might have just as much grace in the water. I mean, they do love to eat fish, so we probably did very well for them. Hi, buddy. You're a lot bigger than a beaver. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so she's doing well too. But all right, guys. Hopefully everything will go quite well with our grizzlies, but it seems we have some litter bug problems we definitely need to tackle. And you know what? I, I'm kind of feeling the whole bear theme now, so I think we might come over and we should add in that Himalayan brown bear, and we should potentially add in a pack of wolves. So I'm thinking maybe we'll put in a wolf pack right over here, and that should attract everybody to our wonderful, wonderful zoo. And then hopefully we can educate the like brains out of these people and they will raise their education up to three we will have accomplished this wonderful zoo and we can celebrate by building our permanent beaver zoo which i'm very excited about but all right guys thank you so much for joining no cleo thank you so much for joining me on this adventure if you would like to follow along on this and thousands more do please consider subscribing but most importantly stay curious and cleo no! Oh, rest in peace, old girl. Rest in peace. Oh!